Hello and welcome to this Garrett Cohen training presentation on the introduction to the command line interface. So in this video I want to just log in, log out, get you used to moving around the command line of the switches that Garrett can make. Um, I'm going to log into the this switch here which is a uh, 6K25E I believe. No, 6K32T. And uh, we're going to use the default user accounts of manager and manager. And here we are, we're into a read-write mode, so one of the first things if you've, for example, got this switch off the shelf and it's a bunch of spares, you might want to wipe the configuration to take it back to factory defaults before you start configuring. Uh, to do that, you can go kill config, and that will return the uh, switch to its factory defaults. It will prompt you to say, "Do you are you sure you want to wipe the configuration? We just want to say, yes, go ahead configuration has been wiped and then if you want to soft um, a warm start it's sorry uh, a software reboot of the switch just type in the command reload uh, or it might be reboot yes um, sorry my Cisco days are coming back to haunt me and do we want to save the configuration so here we're saying do you want to proceed with the reboot yes or no and do you want to save the configuration? Well, we've actually just wiped the configuration. So in this particular situation, we want to say no, because otherwise, then we would be undoing the wiping. So it goes back to having two versions of the configuration, one stored in random access memory, which is volatile, and one stored in flash, which is non-volatile. So when you save, you're copying it to, here we see flash memory. Um, you're copying from running config, in the flash, in the uh, random access memory to the flash, which is non-volatile, so you can power cycle the switch. You can lose power, and the switch still remembers the configuration. When we wipe the configuration, we get these uh, function start, whereby the switch starts looking for an IP address automatically. First, it tries DHCP, then it tries boot P, and if possible it gets an IP address via one of those two methods. If that's not possible, then it will assign itself a default IP address of 192.168.1.2. If this IP address is not available, however, it's being used by another device, the switch will continuously cycle through those methods uh, until you give the switch an IP address. So you'll get these, um, these messages come up at the command line periodically while that process is going ahead. So. The switch is trying to also configure itself if you like. Um, let's go ahead and give it the switch an IP address to save it having to go through that process. So the command to do that is IP config, IP configuration, and then if you need to get help for any of the commands we type in, then just follow the command with a, uh, a question mark. And here we can see another one of those messages retrying DHCP and bootp. So it's going to keep trying to get an IP address via DHCP, via bootp, and keep reassigning itself 192.168.1.2 until we give it an IP address. So let's go ahead and do that. As I said, if you want to have help for any of the commands, follow the command with a question mark. And this will tell you what the command does and also how the command is structured. So here, for example, we've got IP config, IP equals 192.168. 168.10.1 we'll give it that IP address we'll give it a mask the mask equals 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway or DGW is 192.168.10.1 now when you enter those details it changes the boot mode to manual which means that it will no longer try and cycle through this automatic process of DHCP boot P and then setting the default IP address because it's changed the boot mode to manual. It also sets the IP address, the mask and the default gateway as you specify. This will be different depending on your environment. For this situation we're using these uh, address details here. If you want to see what addresses you've entered you can just go show IP config. You can see it's automatically given itself a, a IP version 6 address as well. We won't cover that too much detail here. But we can see the, en the details we entered there here. IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Now, um, 
if you wanted to use a shorthand version of this you can do so if you don't want to go ahead and bother with the mask too much you can just use the shorthand version of the command which is where you just specify the IP address and that will just accept that and it will set a default mask for you for that particular class of network and it won't necessarily set the IP uh, the default gateway for the, the IP address for the default gateway if you want to see the shorter version you can just go show IP and does that there so we have the shorthand method here and we have the longhand method here we have the full show command here showing all the details and we also have the shorthand version show IP just to show you the IP address uh, once you've uh, made any changes to the switch you'll need to save those from random access memory from the fast memory which is volatile so if you lose power and you haven't saved you'll lose the configuration so we want to save that those configuration changes to flash now it's been saved now if we were to, to reboot or to lose power those changes would still be there uh, as again if you want to reboot just to prove that just type in reboot yes in this situation we can go ahead and say yes we want to save the, co the configuration this is just a helpful prompt so that if you have made changes uh, it reminds you to save those changes before rebooting we'll take a moment to log uh, to boot up uh, it's actually very very quick to, to cycle through the boot process here you can see it's again loading from flash memory, loading the configuration done and in a moment or two we'll be presented back here we are at the command, the login prompt and if we go show IP again we can see that the IP address we entered has been saved some other useful uh, commands, so for example show version shows you what version of the firmware you're running this one's the latest firmware 14.1.11 if you're using a secure version of the software it will be 14 if it's the um, standard version it will just be 4 so 4.1.11 for standard version 14.1.11 for the secure version and in order to get the secure version it's an optional upgrade and you'll need to enter a license key which upgrades the standard version to the uh, secure version by unlocking those features you can also have a look at the some other useful show commands are show system config and also show uh, setup I believe it is here we are so some other show commands which are useful in terms of things like the uh, the hardware of the switch and uh, IP address details that type of thing and here we have for example what uh, level of user you're logged in as um, probably the most important show command here is the show config which shows you the configuration file of the switch there's two versions, there's the, the, um, the streamlined and simplified version, the show config and there's also a more detailed version which is actually the best one to use because it shows you every command you entered into the switch which is show config script and that shows you the detailed version of the configuration file this is probably the one to use for any troubleshooting purposes this will show you every single detail of the configuration this is the one to use now obviously the configuration file is quite long if you want to zoom in on a particular portion of the configuration you can do and I'll show you how to do that I'm actually scrolling through the configuration with the enter or the spacebar which shows you a page at a time uh, if you want to break out of that you can just go control C brings you back to command prompt and if you want to uh, re-enter a previously entered command you just use the up arrows to cycle through the command history down arrow will go back, up arrow goes forward okay so we want to go back to a previously entered command and again if we want to get help on a particular command we follow the command with a question mark and here we can see that you can enter a group details and group equals uh, some particular segment of the configuration so in this one we're going to use uh, the group of VLANs and it shows only the VLAN portion of the configuration so we here we have dynamic VLANs and we have um, all the VLAN configuration up here as well so if you want to see a subset you can specify a group for example RSTP um, maybe it's STP yes 
So um, it zooms in on a particular portion of the configuration that Google is IGMP and it only shows you those details here. So a subset of the configuration file. And I think that covers all of the basic show commands and uh, how to log in, move around. And I hope this has been interesting and helpful for you. And on behalf of Garrettcom, I'd like to thank you for your time.